Today, we are gonna be doing a beer gear review. And as you can probably see, I got the old classic beer drinking helmet on. Everyone's seen one of these. You see it in Happy Gilmore. You see it in SpongeBob. Smitty where Bergen Jensen Wenson, he was number one. So we're gonna find out if this hat really does make you the number one beer drinking fan ever. I'll be honest, I've never actually drank from one of these. I've actually never even had one of these on my head till today. So we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna review this thing and we're gonna let you know if you need to pick yourself up a beer drinking helmet. This baby right here only cost me 12 bucks. I know, I know, what a steal. So if we're just gonna do a tour around the helmet, as you can see, it's a really cheap, shitty baseball helmet that maybe you'd flip over and get some ice cream in at the ballpark. And then you got these holsters on the side that hold the beer and then this tubing that's going all over. We'll put one in there, put one in there. Seems like a pretty simple system. I don't know if we splurge and got a fancy one, but there's a little thing here that pinches off the tube so no beer comes out when you're not drinking. It's actually a good idea. So maybe these beer drinking helmet guys know what they're doing. Imagine the R&D for this. Just absolutely everyone's hammered trying to figure out if this is the correct design for the helmet. All right, it's enough jibber jabber. Let's get into the helmet. First uh, initial reaction is it's actually a lot more comfortable and fits my head a lot better than I thought. I thought that this thing would be jabbing into the back or maybe too loose, too tight. Maybe I just got the perfect size head. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot to open up the beers before I put it on my head, so. Push. All right, so these guys, I believe, just go here in the top. So I'm just gonna put them in the beer, pinch this off, make sure we don't spill any. A little nervous. I can already smell it. I can smell it, I can taste it. So here we go. Wow, okay, so it works. Initial reaction, that's a lot of foam coming through here. I don't know if we should have washed out the tube before, but I'm getting a lot of foam, so. I will have to say, it's a very hands-free beer hydrating experience. Oh my, oh my. It, it appears to be, <laughs> it appears to be that there's a faulty beer closing tube thing. That looks good. Nothing screams, I'm a drunk, like a bunch of beer rolling down the front of your shirt. This is probably a con on this, is that this thing just doesn't seal it up quite like you maybe want it to. But, hey. I'm out here walking around. Mmm. That whole time I was drinking beer, hands got are free to do whatever. Son of a... I mean, this is maybe a great helmet that you could wear while you're getting married, drinking beer while you're making that big decision. And honestly, I think the thing is, is you got the baseball helmet on, sports. This would be a great helmet for sports. And I think that's what the one test we should do here is, can you swing a beer league softball bat while drinking beer? I think that that's what every single beer league softball player is looking for, something that they can chug while they're hitting dingers. Well, it turns out we didn't have a normal size bat, so we got this kitty bat here an easton you know easton big slugger Ooh. let's just dive in the test let's see if i can hit a dinger while drinking beer all right here we go Ooh. gone that baby is oh I didn't even spill a drop. Not a single drop is spilled. And you're probably wondering, well, running with this isn't gonna be very good. If you're just hitting dingers out there on the softball diamond, you can walk the bases. Maybe finish both beers on your on your lap around the bases. Maybe uh, wave into the fans. Maybe flicking off the center fielder. Something like that you're gonna wanna do. I would say that this helmet is passing a lot of tests. Now the one thing it's not passing is keeping your clothes clean. You really gotta make sure you seal it up good before you let her rip. This is just what we do here you betcha we do all of the hard work the tests we run things through the ringer so you don't have to so you can go miles i was thinking about buying a beer drinking helmet was really in the market for one as a lot of people are at this time of year should i splurge and spend that 12 dollars on it i'm gonna let you know pass a lot of tests comfort test check functionality test check 
beer league softball dinger tests big old check i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and and give this a big old you betcha recommendation straight here from the you betcha guy you show up to christmas with this thing on you're gonna be a big hit they could have charged me like 50 bucks and i probably still would have bought it we absolutely ripped these guys off <laughs> oh what idiots they could have made way more money not to brag a little bit of a negotiator myself like i said earlier you got a job that maybe you have to use both hands at the same time first of all i recommend maybe getting a a different job at that point but you can't get out of this job with two hands grab one of these stick this in your mouth you may be on the computer maybe hammering something in easy oh my god that's cold oh you betcha yeah yeah